You got a friend in me. I don't know. All right, here we go. Please listen up. On the 29th, you need to have your Baron's book here. Absolutely no in March. March. Sorry, you're right. I should have clarified. You need the 29th of March. It's on the board. It will be there until the 29th. So please make sure you have it. There is no excuse for you not being it, not being here. I've had uh, a couple kids ask for me to purchase a book. If that is the case for you, I'll be more than happy to do it. Uh, only for kids who need me to purchase, not because you're lazy. Yes? And um, with that being said, tomorrow you have an outline due 21 through like 26. There's only, 20, uh, there's only six words tomorrow, but we are still quizzing, even though it's not 10. Wednesday, you have a test, 24 minutes, focus and study guide due. That's the shortest amount of time you'll ever have to have. Everyone good? All right, here we go. On your whiteboard, please tell me. I'm afraid because I'm shaking is an example of what? Uh, what is it, Max? On your whiteboard. I'm shaking because I'm afraid. Is it Hamilton? Common sense. On your whiteboard, please tell me what is physiological response? Label your emotions. What goes physiological response? And then label your emotions. What do we got, Max? James Lang. On your whiteboard, please tell me what goes stimulus, cognitive appraisal, and physiological response. Then label your emotions. What do we got, Scotty? Shasters. Sure. Wait, why is it not Cannon Bard? Because Cannon Bard is labeled motion and physiological at the same time. Cognitive appraisal is the key. When you heard here, cognitive appraisal has to be Satchers. On your whiteboard, please tell me what goes label emotion, then physiological. Good. James. Common sense. On your whiteboard, please tell me what goes physiological response. You express it in your face, then think about your facial expression, then you label the emotions. What is it, Drew? Facial feedback. Facial feedback. What's the key word for that one? What's the key word that tells you what it is? Yeah, anytime you see facial anything, it's always facial feedback. Okay, anytime you hear cognitive appraisal, it's always who? Absolutely. Anytime you just see the word appraisal, it's always Lazarus's. Anytime you just see the word appraisal, it's always just Lazarus's. You... Huh? Cognitive appraisal. Anytime cognitive appraisal comes in, when you're dealing with is it dangerous or not, will it kill me? That's always going to be cognitive appraisal. So, cognitive appraisal. Yep. Just, but then appraisal, appraisal is just kind of looking around, taking everything in before you respond. Yep. On your whiteboard, please tell me what is it called when um, I'm getting ready for a speech and I get anxious, then I start to sweat. I get anxious and then I start to sweat. What is it called when I'm anxious, then I start to sweat? No kidding. What? Nope. I'm anxious. Then I sweat. What is it, Jamie? Oh, common sense. Common sense. Why is it common sense, Jamie? Label the emotion first, then I have the physiological symptoms of it. On your whiteboard, please tell me what is it called when I'm almost in a car crash at the same time I swerve and feel terrified at the same time? I'm almost in a car crash, so I swerve and get scared at the same time. What is it? Uh, Taylor. Cannon Bard. On your whiteboard, please tell me what is it called? Skylar knows she is mad when she breaks out her hives. So when she breaks out her hives, she knows she's mad. What is it? Come on, come on, come on. 
What is it? Vianney. James Lang. James Lang. Why is it James Lang, Vianney? Because she had a physical There you go. Some people do break out in hives. Like, when they're mad. Like, it's a real thing. It was a real example. <laughs> what do you got, Thomas? Do you have a question on On your whiteboard, please tell me, what is it called when um, I see a really dangerous old bridge, and I'm like, hmm, I probably shouldn't cross it, but I'm going to do it anyway, and I just walk over on my tippy toes, trying not to make the bridge fall. What is it called, Scotty? Why? There you go. I'm looking at it. It's dangerous or not. On your wife. Ah, sorry. What's the appraisal? Appraisal is just kind of taking a second before you start labeling, do anything. Have you ever had someone tell you a story and you're kind of like, No, but what's the difference? Oh. Cognitive appraisal. Cognitive appraisal is when you're looking at something and see if you're in danger or you're not. Oh, but then appraisal is just like, oh, that's the thing. Like someone tells you a story and you're kind of like, I don't know how I'm supposed to feel about this. Yeah, have you ever thought that and you like literally thought like, how am I supposed to react? Am I supposed to be happy or mad? You know what I mean? That would be appraisal. Okay. On your whiteboard, please tell me what is, um, if I see a spider, I stomp at it and feel scared at the same time. I see a spider, so I stomp on it and scream at the same time. What is it, Drew? Cannon Barn. All right, so what I do want to accomplish today is I do want to fill in your focus for you today. My goal is that we completely finish your focus today. Is that okay with you? Yeah. So that tomorrow all we have to do is um, kind of just review a little bit, if that's okay with you. All right, so what I would like you to do, if you look on, I'm going to steal this for a second. Thank you, Drew. If you look on the front of your focus, you're going to see the first box has insulin, hypothalamus, wet weight set point, basal metabolic rate. You're just going to scratch it out just like that. So scratch out the first column just like that. Then you're going to divide, you're going to leave the first box alone, and then you're going to divide the bottom ones in half. So it looks just like that. In the center of the box, I left the top box alone and divide the other two. At the top, I really don't feel good. I did go to the doctors. I have strep throat, but I'm not contagious. So I'm just on antibiotics. You're going to write, where it says roll of hunger, you're going to write facial expressions. At the very top, you're going to write facial expressions, just like I did. Okay? Everyone good? Everyone has it? So, in the big box, you're going to write down what I'm telling you right now. Got any of you good? You're good? Okay. All right, so in the top box, write this down. There are six universal expressions. There are six universal expressions that are accepted in all cultures worldwide. There are six universal expressions that are accepted by all cultures worldwide. Other expressions not listed are not universal, which means they vary. Other expressions that are not listed are not universal and they vary. Okay, so in the first box, whatever box you choose, I don't care what box you put your emotions in, I don't care. You can do them up and down, you can do them across, I personally don't care. You're going to write the word angry in the box below. I gave you six boxes. There's six universal, so in the boxes below, you're going to write the word angry, and you're going to draw an angry face. Think about your emojis you people love. Do you love emojis? Do you speak in emojis? McRae's really gone into it. It's really obnoxious. So you're going to draw an, draw an angry face. Your next one is... Uh, is fear. Does that guy look scared? He looks like tweaking out, doesn't he? Uh, yeah, he looks like he's high on something. Does he not? Yes. If he just happened to like walk across like in your path in life, you'd be like, oh my god, this guy's high on something. 
So, draw it scared. Big bulgy eyes, I guess, isn't that the emoji? With the big eyes and the... Your next one is disgust. Make sure you're writing out the words next to it. You're not just drawing the pictures, please. Because your pictures, some of them, are not very good. And I say that with love. Not looking at yours. I'm looking at Taylor, Mr. Taylor. Oh my god, I'm just kidding. I was really, I was really judging Marcella, but I didn't want her to know. Yeah. The next one is um, happy, happiness. I hope we can all draw this one, yes? So you should have four down. If you have three, you're in trouble. Then you have surprise, which is this chick. Isn't she horrifying? Yeah. Yeah. I think it's a little baby, like, the little miniature uh, bangs. I don't know what it is. It really freaks me out. She's so creepy. Her eyebrows are also a huge part. That was a fashion in the 90s, though, man. The teeny tiny little eyebrows. And then your last one is sadness. So in every single culture, no matter where you go, if you go talk to the Aborigines in Australia, if you go talk to people in Japan, go to people in Italy, United States, everyone would be able to read these facial expressions the same. So when you go to a different country and you're sitting there drinking their cultural, eating their cultural food, drinking their cultural drink, and you make the disgusted face. Do you think they can figure it out? Yeah. Yeah, so be careful when you do that. So. All right, those are universal. So for number two, draw a smiley face. For number three, be careful not to cross off four, but you can cross off all of three. Don't worry, I fixed this for next year. I love those kids more already. What you You are putting a smiley face in two, you're crossing off three, and we're going to start working on four right now. Don't cross off the bottom, just cross off three. Dee's are really getting into it over here. Are you that excited to cross something off? I just to cross that. Okay. Alright. So, when we talk about, you're going to write down what I tell you to. The first one is physiolog uh, physiological. Alright, physiology. What you're going to write is, we use, write it down, we use our bodies we use our bodies to express our emotions for safety and for depth. 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 Like, for instance, oh my god, I'm so excited. Oh my god, I'm so excited! With my hands. Physiology. Too much? I got your attention now. <laughs> Physiology. So we use it to ex uh, express for safety and for depth. Um, so what are some ways that we do this? What are some ways? Physiology. What do you got? Hand motion. So write this down in that second column. Hand motions. What else do we use that's physical? A la 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 la. Facial expressions. Facial expressions. Jordan, you head up. What else? Posture. Like Posture. Absolutely. If I said, I'm so excited, would you believe it? No. Ah, of course not. Alright, uh, what else? No other, huh? I'm going to put that on next on behavior. But yes, I would accept it there uh, for behavior. Alright, next one is behavior. Our emotions. Our emotions become predictable and regimented. This affects and regimented, thank you. Sorry. And this affects our personalities. Our personalities then dictate 
how we respond to those uh, emotions. Someone had a really good question. They're like, well, why do some people are super emotional and other people aren't? Like, for instance, Hamilton is definitely not super emotional. Uh, are you super emotional, Jamie? Not really. Only when you're really into some, like, something terrible. Okay. Um, me and Madison, we are both emotional people. Uh, with that being said, someone was like, well, why are you super emotional, but I'm not? And I was like, well, it's based on two different factors, and you're going to want to write this down. It's nature nurture. I get my emotional reactivity from my mother. She's crazy. That's where I get it from. My father is super low-key. My mother's insane. You will and get it from your nature nurture. You also get it uh, another big impact, especially on men. Well, they're like, well, is it a gender thing? And I was like, no, it's definitely not a gender thing. I was like, men have the same emotions that you have. Uh, they just aren't allowed to show it as often as we are. So that's good. one good thing for women. But it's held against us, so it's kind of sad for us too, but it's fine. Um, but yeah, men are conditioned not to express their emotions. Everyone here has seen a kid, a boy cry, and then everyone gives them hell for it, correct? Yes, you have, absolutely. Think about middle school, elementary school when that happens. Your man card is literally taken from you at the age of what? Fourth grade, how old are you? Like 10, 11? Um, and people won't forget about it, uh, stuff like that. So they're conditioned not to have emotions. They're only allowed to have their five basic ones. Okay, they're not allowed to be sad. They have to, like, suck it up and move on. Um, what uh, behaviors, for instance, some of us are super, what are some ways, uh, behaviors that we express our emotions? Volume is a good one. I have a loud frame of reference for my emotions. Would we agree? Yes, I do. I'm a very loud person. What else is another way we do? Huh? Yeah, our physical, uh, our physical control over our bodies. Absolutely. Some people are super restrained. Like, for instance, um, like, I find it so, you're such a conundrum, Hamilton. You're such, a, like, a low-key person, but to be a hockey player, you have to have, like, a huge amount of aggression. Yeah, it's, it's, it's really different. I have, like, really, like, split personalities. Like, I'm, like, a four-a-side, like, that. Like, you're very like, strange. Like, very interesting, though. I'm, like, I'm, like, extremely interesting. Like, even, like, I got, I got a kid here. It's just so weird. <laughs> Most people, like... We actually talked about that. Yeah. He's a complex man. Yeah. It's I, it's not in any yeah. type of negative. It's just weird. Not <laughs> negative. It's just it's just not that common. Um, but yeah, how we handle behaviors, how we handle situations, stuff like that. Flip it over. Subjective. How people experience and express their emotions vary from person to person in a time, situation to situation. Wait, what? <laughs> what? You just varies said from... Var varies from person to person and sometimes situation to situation. Think about it. Oh, I mean, it's sometimes. sometimes situation to situation. Like today, like Regan, if you piss me off, I'm going to be fine. I'm going to be annoyed, but I'll keep it under control. Other days when you piss me off, I lose my mind and go into a blind rage. Just depends on the day. Sometimes. And then if, like, I piss you off, it's something that you can do so much Oh, of course. Well, it's Regan. If, you, if I caught you cheating, I would never be mad. I didn't mean that at all. I, I know. Watching I know. All right. Um, so, what are some ways where you express your emotions that you find is weird comparing other to other people? Do you guys do anything that's weird emotionally? And no doubt. What do you got? Like when you get super mad at something, so it just becomes humorous. So you like that's laugh weird. About it. Do you do that? Yeah. Like when someone when someone like pisses me off by saying something just super wrong, I just like like it's just laughable. Okay. Uh, you laugh. That's weird. So you Hamilton. Yeah. You punch. You physically, okay, have, how many of you have ever, like, really, like, punched something? I have never punched anything in my life. My brother broke his fist. 
his uh, senior year of high school because he punched a wall and hit the stud. Oh my god. <laughs> Are they still there? <laughs> All right, so punching. What else is something weird that you do? D? Do you sing to the birds? No. <laughs> the birds is <laughs> common great for I get so angry whenever I'm sad. So if anybody comes anywhere near me, it's like trying to step around with Legos. I make I'm it purposefully hard for them. No, if someone, if I'm like really upset and like I'm crying something, and someone like tries to like hug me or something, like I get mad and like get away from me and then I like, they'll be fine. It's basically the opposite. If I'm like so angry, there will just be like, Tears, like tears. See, oh, I'm a crier when I'm a crier. Huh? You just punch up. What do you do, Drew, when you're mad? You just sit there and just seethe with anger? Oh, gross. You and your productive That's disgusting. Bianni, what do you do? I either click or I scratch. I'm sorry, what? what? <laughs> See, like, if I have, like, oh, the nail thing? thing? When you yeah. sit there and do that? Okay, got it. Got that it. I was, like, uh, I was not prepared for that. Oh, my God. Yeah, so that's not good. Like, huh? You'll do the dishes? Yeah, like, I've done that before. Are you serious? Ooh, I'll yeah, make. Nope, you're, like, like the gym people. people. Oh, yeah, so that one. Gym gym people. People. Yeah. Yeah. Like, well, well, you can come do dishes in my house any damn day. All right, here we go. Let's jump. I'm going to do number five, finish five for you. We're going to go to six. Common sense. No, we need to over for a second. I know, he's so scary, right? All right, there you go. You're filling that in in six, by the way. I know, I just said I'm going to come back to it tomorrow, my darling. I am well aware. I am well aware. It happens actually on like a super regular basis. So not surprised either. Are you sarcasm? I would never use sarcasm in my classroom. Oh, okay. I'll just continue. I have no doubt that it's been almost a year and a half. It's been over a year and a half and the same changes. And I do too. I don't uh, that oh, dog coming at you? That dog coming at you. You can't tell us you would not be afraid. Are you ready to learn today there, Gabriella? Oh, yeah. Eager to learn today. Eager to learn today. How Thank many of you, you... What is this class? This what is it? How many of you are doing it? No, I have James. I've had a bunch of kids all day. I literally just make fun of them. Thank you. Bye, darling. I had, like, a few people in my first period like all of my friends who are in this period of time do this, and one of my friends brought cookies for all of us, and they're not allowed to eat in class, so I ate like two cookies just staring at them. So neat. Are they really sticking to it though? Because I've had a problem. Well, you have to, unless you know that there isn't like a thought for these person in the class, or if you know that that teacher's not going to report. Because the amount of time that you're in the class adds to the length of your reflection essay. Every two infractions is another half page. They have to act like they're not. Is that why Harrison came in and said, hello, comrades? Yes. That's, that's, how, we that's, that's how they have to greet everybody. And why he like said, I'm really excited for it. Three, two, all right. So cognitive arousal, when you talk about applications, I would just write, when we're trying <laughs> Yeah, I think we're done with drawings. Oh, look at him. I would say when you're trying to evaluate if you're in danger or not, and depending on if you are or not, will dictate your emotional response. If you're in danger or not, that will dictate how you respond. So if that dog was coming at you in the middle of a field, you'd be terrified. Thank you, George. You're so welcome. Thank you. James, in the middle of a field, you'd be terrified, but if you saw that dog behind a fence, some of you would probably antagonize it. What should be, you would, Scotty? Would you? Uh, like, <laughs> no, I would try, I would oh, because that makes you such a big, tough man, kicking a fence at a dog. 
So then why would you antagonize it? There you go, facial feedback. No, they're not. They're so cute. They're so sweet. They're so easy. I don't know. This is their book they're reading. 1984. There's another book that I think does a better job teaching about it. But I can't think of the name of it. No, not Brave New World. That's the reason why I don't take meds on a regular basis. Brave New World. No, it's not Brave New World. Oh, 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 are you talking about the universe? Oh, like, he was breaking it down to a different way. Like, you yeah. like, like, no, trying to explain it. You don't add one to the things like socialism. Oh. Oh. Like, it was more complex than just like straight yeah. 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 Yeah
There we go. Perfect. What is it, a fresh kitchen? Is it good or not? It's so good.